I went to college, you know, for a little while. <laughs> Till the existential crisis set in, you know. Then I had to walk out, you know. But, uh, <laughs> they say college isn't for everybody. Well, now there are existential crises. <laughs> <laughs> feel when someone's been loved, you know, loved real good. You just smile more, I think, you know. You walk a little lighter, a little more, a little more that swinging thing that happens as you walk, you know. I've heard. in the old-fashioned way, you know. Firm hand, and don't spare the rod, and stiff upper lip and all that. I'm grateful. There's no complaint, you know. If it sounds like I'm complaining, I'm only songwriting. <laughs> I'm grateful for so many things of my childhood, you know, the fact that I grew up in a haunted house, you know. Could be bitter, could be grateful. It's a choice, y'all, it's a choice. <laughs> anyway, I chose the path of uh, lightheartedness. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, we had a big family, so my parents could only afford these fixer uppers. You know, that kind of stayed. Hold on. Falling downers. That's okay. I mean, we learned to do some drywall. Put in some hardwood floors and fix the plumbing and rewire the electrical at seven years old. And I'm grateful for that, you know. Not fair, not at all, not even a little bit. But we didn't have TV, which I never won that one. You never win some wars against your parents, do you? And that's as it should be. Child, listen. But yeah, the TV one I lost. I did convince them for a couple of years not to get divorced, but uh, well, they they ended up winning that one in the end. But uh, that's okay too. You know. If you can't win a battle against your own kids, not much of a parent, <laughs> apparently. But I was grateful that when I got older that we didn't have TV because. I don't know, I got to play the piano, and I got to climb trees with my brother, and I got to build ramps out of mud for my bike, fall off the bike, fall off the ramp, break my chin. And what a chin it was. Uh, okay, hold on. This is going to be an intermission in the, in the joke because Landon was like, hey, everyone wants to have a good time tonight. So, like, Kelsey was like, hey, keep, we're looking forward to you practicing some jokes. I'm like, uh oh, I don't have any jokes. I don't know if you've heard these songs, but it's a different kind of joke, man. Joke's on me. But uh, anyway, back to the previously scheduled joke. <laughs> But one of my favorite hobbies was lying in the bed, listening to the wind, and trying not to get scared by all the ghosts that lived in that haunted house that my parents could afford. I made a game out of it, you know, as kids often do. And I just tried to imagine all of these illustrious characters flying and floating, flitting through the room, through centuries, stretching one way, stretching the other way, all the lives that they've led, and that I was leading, and leading behind. And it passed the time. And time don't need any help passing from us. This house comes with a ghost.
Dim stones, ashes, ghosts, and wonders For four walls, much less a home These walls have seen it all The stories they could tell Broken art and love affairs Bittersweet farewells Yeah, these walls have seen a lot A lot more than most But hey, this house comes with Whispers to the window pane. 